Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new illustrated tutorial and today I'll show you this type of creative logo and today uh, here something like shadow, gradient and roundness, background everything you can learn from this video. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first go into the file and new and taking artboard which is like a 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and giving the name logo creative so with the create button you'll get background like that now here are three or four things background these main logo portions and shadow at first i'll make the main logo portions how to do that going to the ellipse tool making ellipse like this so turn off the fill color keep the stroke like 1 pt that's good make the alignment into artboard and like this so after that i'll make several times copy and paste this one and making uh, like a golden ratio type uh, alignment and the uh, measurement of the different types of circuits so this first one ctrl c and ctrl f copy and forward paste and from here just must click this link and divided this one 1.6 and this one is the ratio of the golden ratio or measurement of the golden ratio ctrl c and ctrl f again i'm dividing 1.6 and ctrl c ctrl f dividing by 1.6 and then you are getting three or four like a circles so which is the different types of size selecting all the things select this one now key subject and making alignment like this and this okay fine then taking line segment tool and making line like this and selecting all the things and making in a middle properly after that select all the elements and shift them for the shape builders tool and then i'll giving different color to identify the other shapes from to others so turning off the stroke and giving like shapes or color like this so this color could be and the second one will be like this and the third one will be like this so i got three portion and all the things i'll keep separate from those and deleting those portion selecting this portion turning off the strokes okay fine now i'm selecting these elements those are the different types of elements and separated elements and now press a from the keyboard selecting these two portion how to get that point to round the corner you have to use the creative cloud version then you will get these things and here in a view portion or view menu hide corner and show corner widgets and if you are the user of the cs version and go to the effects styles and the round corners from here you can do that i'm using the cc 2020 and making those things like this fine select this portion and dragging that things like this so we got these things and making it like that okay fine making group and now i'll take rectangle and drawing uh, like a square shape giving the slightly white color from here this type of ash color and making it in a middle so properly you have to align those two things in a middle okay fine and now round corner so i said this one earlier so making it round like that okay now time to give the gradient over there how to give the gradient over there selecting this one double click over here you can go to or select separately okay fine and then go to the gradient options from here pick the gradient like pink and give the gradient like this or this this one is good okay fine and again i from the 
keyboard and select this one i from the keyboard now time to separate those things or those gradient so select this one and separate like that little bit separation okay that's fine okay this one again and select this one okay if you need to change the hsb so go over here so you have to take more darker like this it will help you out to make the gradient properly separated to others so taking this one press i keep the color like this and you can do the color like that and the last one i pick the color so it's separated to others that's good and if you need you can change up the colors from the hsb panel you can make it a little bit like this and it will be like that it will be more lighter and uh, more frequent and more creative now i have to make the shadow like this so how to make the shadow so i'm selecting these things copy and paste copy and paste and then one copy you have to keep over here in a 45 degree angle like this okay and now i'll separate these two things okay fine this thing will be shadow now i'm going to the like blend tool w from the keyboard select once here and once here then double press in a blend tool go to the preview mode and make the specified like steps and giving here 300 okay fine nice and hit okay and then i'll give the gradient over here so how to give the gradient select double click over here go to gradient portion and taking the gradient like this and making it black and this one as well like this and then this portion i and keep color from here and selecting these two things or uh, that means these two square shapes and then g from the keyboard giving the shadow literally or gradually like this okay that's fine okay and this portion i have to just give in a upper side of the shadow okay i'll take care of these shadow later and now i have to give the background how to give that giving a rectangle over here drawing rectangle or square shape and then taking the gradient from here so i'll give this gradient and then pick the color which is pink color and then giving the color like this okay i'll make it reverse g from the keyboard and making it like this nice now i'll take care of this shadow how to do that here is the appearances and uh, you can take care of from here or you can go to the transparency make it multiply and make the transparency down like that you're getting the shadow and if you want to make it more properly go to the effects go to the blur and gaussian blur from here preview mid mode on and making a little bit blurry not too much then if you want to make this uh, one lighter then uh, ctrl c and ctrl f taking the white color and reducing the opacity like this so it's giving you more exposure or like that so our logo is ready and this one is the process to make this type of shadow and this type of creative look of your logo so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section stay safe stay at home and pray for all of us thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial until the next video i am a7 sending out today bye bye